This is to help Corbin with his boner. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs, the hits of Corbin. His butt hurts. Yeah, it does. And you can follow us on Instagram. It's the clown! Ta-da! Bang! Yeah! Yeah, my butt hurts. And uh, another reason why we're on the couch. But you'll see that at some point. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> of a film that's been highly requested for, for a long, long time. And obviously because they're remaking it. With an unknown in, actor named Shahid in, Kapoor. In Hindi, uh, with Shahid Kapoor, but I believe it's the same director uh, uh, and writer. But we are reviewing the Telugu film, Jersey. Uh, a failed cricket cricketer decides to revive his cricketing career in his late 30s, despite everyone being skeptical of his abilities to do so. Directed by and written by... Gautami Tinaram... Tim Minori, forgive me for mispronouncing that. Uh, starring Nani and Shraddha uh, Srinath. And then Safiraj. And those are the three main people in Correct. this. So uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. This is going to be a 100% spoiler review. This is how we like to do stuff outside of stuff that's new. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back and then you will see our spoiler thoughts, you little naughty little nymphos. <laughs> those are some pretty good hits. What's your initial thoughts, Rick? Um, I I walked away not particularly liking it. Mm -hmm. um, there are some things I can say, and I want to accentuate the things that are like the cinematography was very good, the lighting was very good. Um, I felt that my biggest challenge was the story mm -hmm. and some of the performances that mm -hmm. I was never able to get pulled into the story or like the story enough to not only not like the film, but even to wonder why does, why, why are they making this again? Mm. Um, cause I just, I just didn't like it very much. Gotcha. Uh, I thought it was an okay film. There was some stuff I liked and stuff I did not like. Probably some similar <laughs> stuff here. I actually thought Nani did a, a, a commendable job because I did, uh, harp on him pretty bad in, in Iga when we originally saw him. Yeah. A thousand percent. Much better than Way, Eva. way better uh, than, than that. Um, and so he was probably, but he was definitely my favorite performance in this and her. Uh, then there was a bunch of supporting characters that I just, I had a huge problem with. A huge problem with. Yeah. And then there's stuff that I feel like they could have cut out. I think it was a little choppy in terms of like trying to get me into it. I was like into it at some point and then they were like this random thing that I was like, okay, why? Uh, I feel like it could have been two hours as opposed to 2.30. I think mm -hmm. it would have been a pretty easy cut. And I think it would have been a lot cleaner film. Yeah. We say all this. If you love this film, you are... You're More than welcome to, to love, love this film. film. Absolutely. I, I feel, I don't know why I have to say this. I know. Obviously, you can love this film if you want to love this film. Our opinion means nothing to your opinion of this film. So, I just want to preface that because I know we're just going to get shit on because that's, if, if we don't give a glowing review, that's just what happens regardless of the language. Yeah. Uh, and there's really it's nothing. Just what happens. And there's really nothing we can say because when we talk about test technical aspects or thing about things about movie making, um, it just so for those of you who do listen and care, we're gonna say those things. But for those yeah. of you who don't, right away, I don't read your comments anymore anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, I do, I do want to commend Nani. He was probably my favorite part of this, um, and I, not that he was like I think like anything Fafa level or anything like that, but I thought he did a, a really commendable job in this role, especially compared to what I thought about him in Ega, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, as if you saw the film, even though we loved Ega. Uh, but it was after the fly came in. It wasn't because of any other performances besides an animated fly. Right. Um, and so I want to commend it. And Samantha, I believe, was in that film as well, wasn't she? She was. And she, so yeah. that says a lot because you know we love Samantha now. Yeah. Um, but uh, I thought he did a, a really good job. His relationship with his son, I thought, was a, a good part of the film, even though I would have carried it out, uh, like, in terms of, I, I just... I think some of the dialogue was some of the biggest struggles for me in this, and the fact that a lot of it didn't seem believable uh, in terms of the, the dialogue between each other. You yeah. know, yeah. you know how I, I, a lot of times I feel about when white actors are acting is because it just doesn't seem natural. That's how I felt about a lot of like the the dialogue. Not not particularly Nani and and Shur say her name. Uh, Sh 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 Shrada. Not particularly them, Shrada. but most other people in the film. Uh, for the most part, it was just very like, 
Um, it just didn't feel natural to me. The one who felt the most natural was on the screen one of the least amounts of times. And the minute I saw him, I was happy. It was just too late in the film. I'm forgetting his name, but he plays the, um, if I'm not mistaken, he's the dad of the son in Pakistan, in Razi. I don't, I don't know who that is. He's one of the main guys toward the end who's deciding whether or not Arjun should be on the main team. Mm -hmm. And he has the final decision and you think he's probably not gonna pick him yeah. because he's not letting him play, but then he eventually picks him. It's, it's that man. Gotcha. But I agree with you. I, I, it wasn't just the dialogue. For me, the largest thing for me that was difficult for me to embrace the film was the story. I mm. felt the story itself had a lot of things in it that I, I didn't find either admirable or even laudable uh, mm. in terms of our main character's decision-making, the choices he makes, and ultimately his legacy. I felt like, and, and, I said out loud when we got to the last game, I said, I wonder who's going to be the hero. <laughs> um, yeah, this was a, a fairly predictable. You knew where it was going. It's kind of like a lot of, it, it reminded me, even though the film's completely different, but like if you've seen a Disney film of my child called The Rookie. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw that. I, mean, I love The Rookie. Uh, the Rookie. It's actually a pretty good baseball yeah, film. Yeah, uh, but it's about an older uh, b baseball pitcher who... Didn't ever think he would be playing baseball and then this ended is, up pitching. This is the way to do that yeah, kind of story. But it's a Dennis similar Boyd style stars. of... St I'm not, the film's obviously completely different. The stories are very different. But in terms of like an older person trying to get back into the game. And his reasons for getting and back into the game. his reasons for getting back. That, it's, it's similar in that aspect. Yeah, in fact, we'll talk about that a little bit without spoiling it for you. Because it doesn't. What happens is this guy's a coach of a baseball team. He's married. He's got a happy life. And his kids that he coaches, these like high school kids... They want to see him throw, and they're like egging him on and asking him to throw, and he throws, and they're like, "Dang, yeah." And similar to what happened in this, yeah. yeah but he yeah. has really the reason he goes is because the kids trick him into yeah uh, uh, into trying out yeah. Uh, so, so so that that's where it was similar in that aspect. Um, but I do I, I, like I said, Nani was probably my favorite part. Even like I'm not saying he was like incredible. Like like I thought he was like. Not Fafa or anything, but I thought he did a good job, and he was probably my favorite performance in the entire thing. Uh, I did one of my favorite moments of his when he was actually just screaming at in the train. I thought that was a nice scene um, uh, for one the the filmmakers and him as well. I thought their relationship for the most part until a certain point that I got I got upset at a certain point at their relationship when it was. I was upset at him the whole movie. No, no, not him, <laughs> not him. Arjun, the character. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that that makes sense. Obviously, you're. I think especially towards the beginning, you're supposed to be pretty upset with him uh, for being just a, a lazy kind of just doing nothing. Um, the the moment that I like their relationship though, like in terms of I felt the tension in between the the, the couple, mm -hmm. and I thought when they were good to each other. <laughs> I thought they had some good moments. My, I didn't like the little twist of uh, her making him choose, like, who's more important, me or your son? Oh, he made that clear with his actions. Uh, but, thing. like... She I didn't need to ask that question. I just didn't... I didn't... I just... Maybe it was a phrasing. Maybe it was the subtitles. Maybe it didn't mean important because both my wife and son are equally important in very, very different ways. You prioritize them differently. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was... Maybe that's the correct terminology they were supposed to be using was, like, Who's going to be the priority here, me or or the or the kid? Because that I would understand more. Like you should prioritize your wife, yeah, you're, obviously you're sure. first. Exactly. Uh, I just I didn't I think I didn't understand the maybe it was a, a wrong translation. Important. I don't know if it bothered you, but it just... the word yeah the word important didn't bother me. I think I got the gist of what she yeah. was asking. Is yeah. like what what matters most to you yeah. in your life? And you know he she had asked him that early on in the film, and he said you, but. Um, his actions prove otherwise. Yeah, he yeah. was clearly a, a very, they, what they were trying to convey was he's very down and out, very like, uh, he's given up on life because <laughs> you don't figure out till the end, even though I didn't really care for the big spoil, like the big re revelation in the end. It made it worse. Uh, like, you know, I don't like those things. It's not just, I don't like the whole, you were dealing with this whole thing and then the sun comes in and, and like reveals a big reveal. I don't, I don't like those in Hollywood films and any language films. It's always like, okay, cool. I don't care about you. Why are you giving me this information? You could have done that in the present tense. That's where I think they could have knocked off at least 20 to 30 minutes of the film yeah. uh, with a couple little, with a couple cuts. Uh, and it, I think it would have made it a little more choppy. 
the biggest issue is probably a lot of the per side performances. Like, I don't know if you were equally annoyed, but the announcers were just, just garbage. I, like I, some of, like that, they felt like they were white actors, it, is what it felt like. I, I had, I had a problem with most of the smaller roles. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that's as far as them just not being believable. The, the, the other guy on the cricket team that was a dick to him, uh, he was, yeah. he was terrible. Uh, and so th those it kept coming in and kept drawing me out of what I wanted to be, you know, immersed. Like you said, if, if it didn't bother you, it didn't bother you, but it bothered us. Uh, <laughs> I will say, not knowing the sport very well, I think his cricket playing and everyone else's cricket playing. Oh, I was convinced he was a cricket player. I, I was convinced I was watching cricket. Yeah. At, at a high level. Yeah. So that was nice. Um, there was no tension for me. It wasn't like The Natural. It wasn't like any great sports film where I'm genuinely wondering what's going to happen. Mm. Or even um, like the the previous boxing film we just saw, the Tamil the yeah. uh, one uh, that we, you know, we, we really loved that had a little more like uniqueness and a, like kind of suspense of like, Oh, is he? Is he going to right. end up winning? Right. I, I, you didn't. You didn't know that till the till the very end. So yeah, it was a little more predictable uh, <laughs> then. And, and the other thing, probably one of the things that was the most bothersome for me, and it's it's not um, the score. The is, composer is extremely talented. That's yeah. no doubt. Is an over the top score. Oh my! It was so overscored. Yeah. I, I several times after about an hour and a half of the film. I just, I yelled at the TV and said, please, just can we have one scene where there's no music? Mm -hmm. Let them just talk. Yeah, that's a, that's a common problem I've had with some Indian films, is the overscoring. This was of, really of, of, over, and the, the, but the composer's incredible. Well, the song The works. main theme yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. The, I'm listening to it, I'm like, you know what, I'd love to just listen to this music as a standalone. Yeah. But it's not fitting the storytelling for me. Yeah. Uh, um, but also, I do the the cinematography in this. I thought was actually really nice. Really nice. Um, because it it actually felt a lot like a Hollywood film. It honestly, was very clean. Yeah. It was very uh, consistent. Uh, yeah. It was probably the best thing about the film for me. Yeah. Was the cinematography. Um, so, yeah, I don't. Mm. I don't want to totally harp on the entire thing because I know you guys are if you if you if didn't like that review you probably already left or you're currently well, writing an angry comment and I just got my, <laughs> my major thing because I always go back to purpose-driven things and this is the kind of film that makes itself very clear that it's telling a story and that there's going to be a moral to the story and the overall moral to the story of his decision-making and what he's doing and this not giving up on your dream uh, this isn't an my opinion, you can disagree with me. I think this is an incredibly unhealthy way to go about living your life. Mm. There are some dreams you need to die to. Mm. There are some things. If I wanted to be an NBA player and just changed everything I was doing right now because that was my dream since I was a kid, that would be an incredibly irresponsible decision. I'm not saying this is comparable to that. I'm just giving that as an example of all dreams are not something you should pursue. As it pertains to him, the thing at the end... First of all, he made it very clear that his whole identity, and this is one of the things I have a problem with, if your identity is based on what you do and not who you are, that's a problem. Mm. Because when you cease to do what you do, then what happens to your identity? Mm. Clearly for him, without cricket, he wasn't anything. And that's a terrible message to send to your kid. It's a yeah. terrible thing to even, live out. Even with a loving wife and and a, a kid who loves you very, very much. Right. The kid had no When life. he slapped his kid, I'm like, yeah. you son of a bitch. <laughs> kid did yeah. nothing wrong. Why are you taking it out yeah. of him? I don't much have a problem with with that. In, well, I, in terms of the, the, the idea of it, I do. And like if a head of a rug's like, you're, stop doing that. In terms of a film portraying that... I don't have a problem with that because I don't have a problem with films telling stories about shitty people who I don't agree with. Um, my, my challenge is that yeah. young people can watch us and think that's, that's, the, mm. that's what you should do. That if you want to be a cricket player at 36, whether your wife likes it or not, do it. Because that's more important than your wife. And then, you know what? If you have a heart condition that you know is going to kill you pursuing it, you should do it too because then you'll leave her as a widow. Great call, guy. Yeah, I don't much think about the audience when I watch a film. I always think about but the audience. I, I, because, I, but I agree with you in terms of, yes, he's a shitty person. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to think about the audience because the moral tells a story and then they're going to walk away from that. Oh. How many films have inspired people to make life-changing decisions about their life? Many. But, countless many. But all, same reason I don't, I don't harp uh, Kabir Singh for... 
for telling a story about a shitty person. I don't know. But that's that. that I think that's really different. But that's funny you mentioned that because I'd like to see Shahid make some different choices because this is so obvious of something he's done where he's the bad boy. Yeah. It's uh, very Kabir Singh-esque, right? Yeah, uh, I'd like to see him go back to Shakespeare. That's one thing that I that was curious because it wasn't really the performance that was the problem, it, at least the main guy's performance. <laughs> it, that was the problem in this film, and it's being directed by the exact same person. Mm -hmm. um, the, the only other thing that I see different is I think this guy who was in Bahubali that we, we just saw as well is played by Shahid's dad, I think. Um, and so that he's a good actor, but mm -hmm. once again, that wasn't really the issue here. <laughs> so <laughs> they'd have to make a, a, quite a few changes to this I, to, to yes, I think, make it. And better. yes, we haven't said it, but I have to. We can't stand dubbing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just don't mention that anymore. You know, I don't like the the dub sound, uh, <laughs> uh, the non sync sound uh, of the of the films. It's just it it. It takes away from the performance. Takes away from believability. But, again, but I there you go. I don't like to mention it anymore just yeah. because it's it's pointless. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the things I am confused about the remake. I, I'm, they have to change quite a bit in order for me to like this film. Yeah, I don't if it's a cut for cut remake, I don't know that I'm going to feel any different because it wasn't really the performance. So I don't know. It's like even I, though I'm sure Shahid's going to do a great job, it wasn't really Nani's fault that the film didn't do well. <laughs> in my mind, it's like, why do you want to retell this story? Yeah, I, so. I just we'll see. But uh, yeah. I'm sure you'll already told us why we're dumb in the comments, but uh, let us know what the next Telugu film should be uh, down in the comments because we are going. We're you know, going to continue to watch. We're going to continue to watch, and yeah, so we have a particular. We don't have a bias toward certain regions. We, well, you know what the big problem was? Hmm. There's no run beer. That's true. If a brand beer, beer had been in it, it would have been we would have definitely hundred times better. Everything would have about loved it. Everything about it. Oh.